So to do a scoot cork, you don't need to be able to do a cork screw before because maybe this is the setup that you choose to learn corks out of. So there are two ways to start into a scoot. You can either start it from the knee, like this, with the arm down, or you can start from walking into it and then putting the arm down. I'm going to show you option number two because you can get a lot more power that way. So you're going to start, put that first foot forward, and then the other one, make sure you take enough of a gap because if it's too small of a gap, then you're going to be too tight for the scoop. So you want it to be far enough about like this. Once the second foot is on the ground, then you can put that hand on the ground almost in a perfect triangle with the two feet that are already on the ground, like this. So notice how it's a little, actually a little closer to this foot than the back foot, because if it's too far backwards, then you won't be able to get as much momentum. But it's too far forwards, then you have to reach too far ahead to do the cork. So once that hands down, you're actually going to jump off the forward leg and bring the back one through to get ready for the cork. So it's going to look a little bit like this. So you see how my back foot doesn't go too far from my hand, but it's not too close either. If it's too close, you won't be able to get any height because it's right here and you're not going to be able to kick because your chest is going to be too low. But if you put it too far, your chest is also going to be too low because you're reaching out all the way here. And it makes the flip that much harder. So as I said, have that foot forwards, put the hand here, and this knee comes through and around about here. And you want to practice that a few times. When you're comfortable with that, then you can actually practice it with kicking the other leg. So it's going to look a little bit like this. If you practice with jumping and a tiny bit of twist like I just did there, they'll make it a lot easier because you're already practicing to spin into it. So once that leg is actually kicking, then you're going to bring your hand from the ground, the one that you put on the ground from the scoot, and bring it to, with the other hand and reach up and around like this to do the cork. You don't need to bring them straight up and then twist. You can just bring them around because the cork doesn't need to be on a straight axis. It can come around. So once that leg kicks, you bring your arms in as tight as possible. The tighter your arms are on your body, then the faster you're going to be able to twist. To start, you don't need to start with your body fully straight during the cork. It helps you spin more if your body is straight, but then you don't get as much flip. So if you're not comfortable doing it with your body fully straight, you can have it slightly bent like this. So you're going to be twisting as much as you can, then it's very similar to a back full. So you're just going to flip and twist, and it's going to feel really weird at first, and you might not even understand where you are, but it's with practice that that comes. The more you practice it, the more you're going to understand it and you're going to know where your body is in the trick. So it just takes a lot of practice and drilling to get this. If you still can't get it, then learn a back full first, maybe a standing full off of a drop or something like that, and then treat it like a back full after the kick. So after you do the flip with the spin, all you have to do is spot the ground, open up and land. Some people land on one foot, which is really nice because then you can go into another cork. But to learn, it's best to land with your both feet together because then you have less chance of hitting your toe on the second leg or twisting an ankle or anything like that. So it's a lot nicer at the beginning to land with both feet together. I'm going to show you guys a couple of examples right now.
Thank you guys for checking out my tutorial. Don't forget to click the subscribe button right over here. If you want to see more tutorials like this one, you can click the playlist here, or you can check out my latest video by clicking over here. As usual, I'll catch you guys on the flip side.